हेलो एवरीवन मेरा नाम है फजल आप देख रहे हैं एम एफ ए सिविल इंजीनियरिंग टॉपिक इज फ्लूड कैनामेटिक्स बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द फ्लूड फ्लो द स्टडी ऑफ अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द फ्लूड फ्लो फॉल अंडर द ब्रांच ऑफ द फ्लूड कैनामेटिक्स सो द कैनामेटिक्स इज द ब्रांच ऑफ द साइंस विच डील विद द मोशन ऑफ अ पार्टिकल विदाउट कंसिडरिंग द फोर्स कॉजिंग द मोशन द विलोसिटी ऑफ अ पार्टिकल एट एनी पॉइंट इन अ फ्लूड फ्लो एट एनी टाइम इंटरवल इज डिटरमाइंड इन दिस ब्रांच once the velocity is determined the pressure distribution and also the force causing the motion can also be determined the fluid motion can be described by the two methods one is a lagrangian method and second is a eulerian method in the lagrangian method it is considered as a single fluid particle which is flowing in a fluid fluid flow now the properties like a velocity acceleration pressure and the density is described on a fluid particles now in the second case of the eulerian method the properties like a velocity acceleration pressure and the density is described at any point in a fluid flow euler's eulerian method is a most commonly method used to describe the fluid motion in a fluid mechanics let's see the different type of the fluid flow the fluid flow is classified into a various type like first is a steady and the unsteady flow second is a uniform and the non uniform flow third is a laminar and the turbulent flow fourth is a compressible and incompressible flow fifth is a rotation and the irrotational flow sixth one is the one two and the three dimensional flow let's understand every type of the fluid flow in detail first one is a steady and the unsteady flow the steady flows are the those type of the flows in which the properties like a velocity pressure and the density at any point in a fluid flow remain constant and does not change with respect to the time in a mathematical form it is written as the rate of change of the velocity with respect to the time in any direction that is the x direction y direction and the z direction is equal to constant that is equal to the zero similarly in a case of the pressure the rate of change of pressure with respect to time in any direction that is x y and the z is equal to the zero in case of the density rate of change of density with respect to the time is any direction that is x y and the z is equal to the zero now unsteady flow that type of the flow in which the properties like a velocity pressure and the density does not remain constant with respect to the time in the mathematical form it is written as the rate of change of velocity with respect to the time in any direction is not equal to the zero similarly in case of the pressure it is not equal to zero and sim similarly in case of the density second one is a uniform and non uniform flow uniform flow are the that type of the fluid flow in which the velocity at any given time interval does not change with respect to the distance consider this fluid flow having a two section that is section 1 and section 2 when the velocity at a section 1 is equal to the velocity at a section 2 then this fluid flow is said to be a uniform fluid flow in the mathematical form it is written as the rate of change of velocity with respect to the distance that is a s at a any given time interval that is a time is equal to the constant is equal to the zero now non uniform flow non uniform fluid flow are that type of the flow in which the velocity at any given time interval change with respect to the distance since in a mathematical form it is written as the rate of change of velocity with respect to distance is not equal to the zero third one is a laminar and the turbulent flow laminar flows are that type of the flow in which the particles of the fluids are moving along the well defined path which is called as the streamlines all the streamlines are the straights and the parallel consider this fluid flowing system each system consists of a number of the streamlines which is straight and the parallel to the each other now when the fluid particles are moving along the well defined path or the streamline then the movement is like a movement of the fluid in the form of the layer the laminar flow is also called as a viscous flow and streamline flow now the turbulent flow when the particles are moving are does not moving along the well defined path then that type of the flow is called as a turbulent flow and turbulent flow can also be defined as when the fluid are flowing in a zigzag path then that flow is called as a turbulent flow in case of the pipe the laminar and the turbulent flow can be determined by the unit less quantity which is written as here as a velocity into diameter of pipe divided by the kinematic viscosity this value is called as the reynolds number when the value of this unitless quantity that is a reynolds number is less than 
then it is called as a laminar flow and when the value of the reynolds number is greater than 4000 that is greater than 4000 then the flow is called as a turbulent flow and when the value of the reynolds number is lies between the laminar 2000 to 4000 then that i will the flow may be a laminar or the turbulent flow fourth one is a compressible and the incompressible flow compressible flow are that type of the flow in which the density of a fluid get changes from one point to the another point in another way the density of a fluid does not remain constant in a mathematical form it is written as the density of a fluid is not constant now incompressible flow incompressible flows are that type of the flows in which the density of a fluid are remain constant or in other way it does not changes from one point to the another point in a mathematically it is written as the density of a fluid or the incompressible fluid is equal to the constant that is equal to the zero fifth one is a rotational and the irrotational flow when the particles of the fluids are traveling along the streamlines and also the particles are rotating about their own axis then that type of the flow is called as a rotational flow similarly when the particles of the fluids are flowing along the well defined path that is a streamlines and does not rotate about their own axis then that type of the flow is called as a irrotational flow six one is a one two and the three dimensional flow one dimensional flow are that type of the flow in which the flow parameter like a velocity is a function of a time and the one space coordinate say the space coordinate as a x now the velocity variation in the other another two direction is considered as a negligible in mathematical form it is written as the u that is a velocity component in a one direction it is equal to the function of the one space parameter x now the velocity in another two direction is taken as a zero which is negligible in case of a two dimensional flow the velocity is a function of a time and the two is space coordinate and the velocity in a third direction is considered as a negligible it is written as a u is equal to the function of a two space coordinate that is a x and the y similarly another direction is a function of the x and the y in case of the third direction is considered as a negligible which is zero in case of a three dimensional flow the velocity is a function of a time and the three coordinate and in the ma mathematical it is written as a u is equal to the function of x y and the z similarly velocity in the another direction is a function of the x y and the z and last direction is a function of x y and z